Well, good evening, folks. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on whereabouts in the world you are. It's lovely to see you as usual, and I hope that I find you very well indeed. So thanks for coming over just to have a wee look at what we had for the family meals this week. And as usual, if I've done a video recipe on any of the dinners here, you will find them in the show more box underneath the video. And me and Mr. Watts for tea were away over in Arran for a couple of nights, so I will show you what we had whilst we were there as well. If you're new, my name's Cheryl. We are a family of four from the west coast of Scotland. And like I said, it's just a part of the week where I show you what we had for the family meals. I'm no chef, no cook, nothing like that, but hopefully it gives you ideas as well. I always start off on Monday all the way through till today, which is Sunday. So if you do like these kinds of videos, why not consider subscribing just before you go? So on Monday, we had very simple soup and baguettes. This is one that we have quite often. These ones have bacon inside and it's the wee bake at home baguettes which are really nice with some tomato soup the wee bit of cream on the top and some plain lentil chips on the side and some folk will say oh soup and a roll isn't a dinner well it is to us and you know it's actually quite filling and absolutely delicious. Moving on to Tuesday, I made these wee pizzas. These were the sort of cook at home pizza bases you'll have seen in my shopping haul. And this is just some pineapple, some mushrooms and some ham and cheese on a sort of tomato sauce base. And I will show you in a wee second how I put these ones together and also had some salad and potato wedges on the table as well. So I just started off with the base. I popped them into some greaseproof paper just to make them easy to move around. And and then some pizza sauce on the bottom and then some cheese and then some smoked ham some chopped up pineapple and then some mushrooms we do love ham pineapple and mushrooms and then another wee bit of cheese on the top just to hold it all together and then some Italian herbs and then just into the oven and it was delicious very simple moving on to Wednesday like I said Mr Watts for tea and I went over to Arden just for a couple of nights this is only about an hour away from us so it's not far at all I of course had to have fish and chips Mr Watts for tea had steak pie and chips you could have had mashed potato if you preferred he decided to go with the chips because their chips are fab and they do use beef dripping as well and this was lovely it's just a wee sort of local pub grub type place. It is a hotel with a bar and a restaurant. Very informal, very laid back. This place is a local, you know, it's a local institution. It's been here forever. And moving on to Thursday, when we woke up, we had a breakfast in the accommodation that we stayed in. There's lots of different things you could have had. Mr. Watts for tea had the scrambled egg and sausages. And I've got to have the full Scottish breakfast minus the eggs. I don't like eggs. So I've got everything else apart from the eggs. So I've got sausage, bacon, mushrooms, tomato and a potato cake as well. We, we've we been going to this place for years and just love it. It's just so old school. You know, it's, got, it's full of retro charm. And that is the breakfast meal menu there just in case you want to pause and have a wee nosy and just look at the view from the breakfast room there was not well hardly a cloud in the sky it was a beautiful couple of days over on the Isle of Arran and moving on to Thursday night I decided to have fish cake because I, I'd heard they were really nice so I thought I'd try the fish cake not as nice as the fish and chips I'm not going to lie these were salmon fish cakes I'm not the biggest lover of salmon but the whole thing overall was very nice Mr Watts for tea decided to have the fish and chips that I had the night before because yeah it was just absolutely delicious and I was secretly wishing that I'd get that as well and the, he had some chocolate fudge cake and ice cream I couldn't manage anything else I was absolutely stuffed and then moving on to Friday breakfast this was us just before we left like I said we're only here for two nights and folk must say oh you're away all the time but we're actually not you know some folk might have a two or three week holiday we just have a wee, de a wee couple of days here and a couple of days there which probably works out about the same but it just seems a lot more obviously because we're, we're not staying in the same place for a couple of weeks so yeah just the same as the day before scrambled egg and sausages and I had beans and toast with a wee sausage on the side and moving on to Friday, when we get back, I made chicken curry. So this was the Tilda basmati rice with coconut, a few chips on the side. These are salt and pepper chips and just my standard homemade Chinese style, takeaway style 
chicken curry, which again, we haven't had for a wee while and it is really tasty. This is just the Mayflower curry powder and I just add all of my own bits to that and that is a big favourite in the house as well. And moving on to Saturday, we had cheeseburger pasta bake, another one of our favourites and one I haven't done for a few weeks either, with some garlic bread on the side. And again, the, re the video recipe for this will be in the show more box underneath. And then moving on to Sunday, which is today, it's fish and chips. Yeah, something a wee bit different. So fish and chips, and somebody said to me, you know, why don't you have a roast on a Sunday? It's just not something that I've ever typically done. Even growing up, you know, my mother wasn't someone who'd done a roast every single Sunday. It would be something we would maybe have during the week. So yeah, we're not really traditional that way. But this is just some homemade potato wedges. And then I lightly coated some cod fillets and some breadcrumbs of some peas, tartar sauce and lemon. And it was absolutely beautiful just for a wee change just before i leave you i wanted to say as usual a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my patreon page and to the channel members here as well and a hello to the new channel members and you know who you are and for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those who share the videos it's all very much appreciated and i do try and respond to as many of you as i can but i'm sure you can appreciate now there's a hundred and thirteen thousand of you nearly and i just yeah my, my wee fingers would be <laughs> worn down to the bone if I tried to respond to each and every one of you. But I do read about 90% of your comments. So yeah, thank you all very much for that. And I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe. Shopping, unbagging, unboxing or whatever else comes my way. So until you choose to join me again, have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I will catch up with you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.